welcome back to Underwater Math. My name is Farmer Willy and this is my pig named Petunia that is going to help us today. Hello everyone. Today we'll be teaching you how to represent measurement data using a line plot. Let's go. Here is a ruler. Each inch is broken apart into four parts. That means each line represents one fourth of an inch. First, always make sure you line up your object starting at zero. Then, look at where your object reaches on the ruler. This celery is 1 inch long. This potato is between 3 and 4 inches, which would be 3 and a half inches. This carrot is 2 inches. This corn is 1 fourth inch between 2 and 3 inches, so it's 2 and 1 fourth inches. This beat is at the 3 fourths mark between 0 and 1 so it is 3 fourths of an inch. This asparagus is 3 inches and the head of lettuce is 2 inches. Let's now get the data from the lengths of the seven vegetables and make a line plot. Start with a number line that includes every data measurement you collected. So 0 inches to 4 inches. For every data number we measured, we are going to put an X on the line plot. The celery is 1 inch, the potato is 3 and a half inches, the carrot is 2 inches, the corn is 2 and 1 fourth inches, the beet is 3 fourths of an inch, the asparagus is 3 inches and the head of lettuce is 2 inches. Double check that you've included every data number on the line plot, and you're done. Let's do another. We've harvested our winter crop of squash and created a data table to represent the lengths of each type of squash. Let's create a line plot using the data. The butternut squash's length was 5 and 1 fourth inch. Both the spaghetti squash and the pumpkin measured 5 and 3 fourths inches. The buttercup squash measured 6 inches. And both the delicata squash and the acorn squash measured 6 and 1 half inches. All the vegetables are accounted for on the line plot. Great job Petunia! Thank you and thanks for joining us today to learn how to represent measurement data using line plots. Keep practicing!